Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the super important questions of uh, data communication 18 CS 46 module 1. This document link can be found in the description box as well as you have to watch the theory video which uh, of this subject which is in the description box. In this video I will be just discussing what are the key points you need to write an exam, how do you approach each question, what are the diagrams you need to make, those key points I will be just giving hint for detailed explanation, refer notes and the video. If you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this. If I have got any doubt, ping me on Instagram. Okay. So let's get started the first question so totally there are six questions okay in the uh, module one so module one is basically about what is uh, data communication what are its characteristics what are different layers in the uh, osi model and uh, what are the different topologies you have like just a basic introduction to all of the aspects in the domain so the basic question is what is data communication explain the fundamental characteristics of uh, and components of uh, data communication system so what is data combination you need to know you have to write the definition of it and um, what are its different aspects and the properties that also you are supposed to write in the fundamental characteristics what are the components of data communication system i guess there is a source and there is a listener and there is a uh, channel in between so you can refer to the notes and the video for more information moving on we have the tcp ip uh, protocol suite and in comparison with osi model okay what are the differences between them what are the different layers how it is advantageous and how it is disadvantageous in different contexts which all applications use tcp which all applications use OSI OSI model, what is more cost efficient, all those things you have to write, okay, and which is most speed also. The next one is explain briefly about Shannon capacity and Nyquist bitrate for communication channel. These are the two capacity rates for defining the bandwidth which you can send uh, in one channel, okay. So those are the things uh, which are present here. You have to just explain briefly what is the difference between them, what is the formula used in that, what are the parameters that affect these uh, formulas, why these formulas are used and where these formulas are used, what are its applications. Those things are the key points. Next, we have explained the different kinds of network topologies with advantages and disadvantages. What is a network topology? Why there is a need for a network topology? What is the uh, purpose of having different uh, network topologies? Of which context it is used? Which are the different applications? What is the cost for getting them uh, set up? And what will be the uh, time uh, factor uh, which is affecting in different contexts? And what are is e uh, each of its advantages and disadvantages as well as the properties? Like, like uh, what is the bandwidth supported by them? All those key points you have to mention when you are writing this answer. Okay. The next one is define a mesh topology with five nodes. Derive the uh, derive the number of links for the seven nodes mesh network and write its disadvantages. So mesh topology is one of the topologies in the network which we use. So uh, what you can observe from this question is first you have to define what is mesh topology. So first write something about topology, then say what is mesh topology, why it is specifically uh, um, means used in which application it is used, and how can we um, use that in different contexts where uh, it is most uh, suitable. What is advantages and disadvantages? This you have to write first. Then you have to write how you can define it for five nodes and how many links will be there. All those derivation as well as the formula in uh, along with the diagram. All this I have explained A to Z in the theory video. You can watch that for more information. Make sure you know that and you know the derivation also because uh, the derivation for 7 nodes and the derivation for 5 nodes like that it's asked in many question papers. So make sure you know this very well and as well as disadvantages you need to know. First write advantages here then after you derive it finally write its disadvantages. Moving on to the last question we have different causes of transmission impairment during the signal transmission through uh, media. See the transmission is not a single uh, not a piece of cake right there are many factors which are affecting the transmission from source it might go and it might not reach the destination it might reach the destination but with some error value and some might be stolen in the between so what are all those factors what are the noise inserted in that how do you denoisify it right all, all those things you have to mention in the final answer. So basically these are the super important questions make sure to the like button and subscribe to my channel because uh, your support helps me make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one